In this video, you will learn about variables in TensorFlow. Tensors are immutable, but variables are mutable. That is, we can change the value of variables after creating it. A variable is like a container that holds tensor and is mutable. Let's import TensorFlow STF. Now I'm going to make one variable v1 and now I will call tf dot variable to create variable we will call this method variable and inside this we can pass the variable so let's say I'll pass here 5 and if I print here v1 so we have this variable and it has no shape the data type is integer 32 because this is a scalar variable that is why it has no shape and if I have so this is scalar let's make one vector variable i'll write here v2 and then i will call tf dot variable and here i will write uh, let's say 5 2 8 and if i print v2 here in the output you can see we got a shape here as 3 because we have one row here this is a vector and the data type is integer 32 and it is the numpy representation is given here 5 to 8 a variable holds a tensor within it we can explicitly apply specify a data type so here you can see by default we are getting integer 32 now let's say instead of getting the integer 32 i want to get the uh, float 32 so what i can do i will put one comma here pass one parameter which is d type and then i can give the data type that i want so I'll write here D type and then I will write here df dot float 32. So I have to type it here again. D type is equal to float 32. And now if I execute the code, uh, I have to type here df dot float. I'm sorry for the mistake. And if I execute the code again, in the output you will see now we have this data type as float 32 and this is the numpy representation of this uh, tensor we can perform mathematical operations on variables let me make few uh, two more variables so i'll make one as v3 i will call tf dot variable or and i will write here one two three and then v4 tf dot variable five six seven now first we will do the addition so let me write here add underscore v now we will do from tensorflow we will call tf dot add and we want to add these two variables v3 and v4 v3 and v4 and then i will print add underscore v here in the output you can see we got 6, 8 and 10 because 5 plus 1 is 6, 6 plus 2 it is and 7 plus 3 is 10 that is why we got here 6, 8 and 10. Similarly we can also do let's say multiplication I will write here mult underscore v this is my variable then I will call tf dot multiply and then what I want to multiply v3 and v4 and let us print mult underscore v uh, this is not dash this is underscore i'm sorry for the mistake and i'll print it here so here in the output you can see we got 5 12 and 21 and the reason is 5 into 1 is 5 6 into 2 is 12 and 7 into 3 is 21 and that is why we got 5 12 and 21 we can also uh, create we can also convert these tensors into the numpy so what we can do is I'll import numpy as np so we have this uh, let's say v3 which is tf dot variable now I want to convert this into numpy array so what I will do I will write here v3 dot numpy that's it and here you will see in the output this is the numpy representation that is why we are getting here just array and here you will see we are getting all the information that is tf dot variable because this is from tensorflow and this is from numpy that is why we are just getting array here 
so as I've said that variables are mutable. So let's update the elements of, uh, let's say our V3 variables. So in this V3, what we have is one, two and three. So what I will do to update variables, we will use the method assign. I will call v3 dot assign and now instead of 1 to 3 I want to uh, change it to let's say 5 10 and 15 so I will write here 5 10 and 15 uh, object has no assign so this is the spelling is wrong assign now here in the output you can see we got 5 10 and 15 instead of 1 2 and 3 so now you can see here our new variable v3 has 5, 10 and 15 instead of 1, 2 and 3. And if we try to perform this operation on the tensor then it won't be possible and let me show you with an example. So I'll make one tensor let's say x1 and then I will call here df.constant and I have 1, 2, 3 and if I print x1 so we have this tensor 1, 2, 3 and, and now what I will do I will call this similar operation and now instead of v3 I will call x1 because we want to change the elements or we want to update the elements of this tensor x1 so I am calling here x1.assign and let's see whether we are able to do it or not so here in the output you can see we got error it says tensorflow.python.framework.ops.eager tensor object has no attribute assigned so in tensor when you have a tensor you cannot update its value but when you have a variable you can update its value so tensors are immutable like a numpy uh, sorry like tuples and variables are mutables you can change or update the values of uh, variables so you have seen the difference here we were able to update the values of this variable v3 but we were not able to update the value of this tensor x1 we can also assign variable to another variable let's say i have this uh, variable v3 and in this I have this element 5, 10 and 15. Now I want to create a new variable v10 and I want to get these values 5, 10 and 15. So what I will do, I will assign v3 to this v10. So what I will do, I will call here tf dot variable and then v3 because I want to make a copy or I want to assign this v3 to this v10. And now if I type, uh, if I print v10, I should get the same out output that is 5, 10 and 15. And here in the output you can see I got 5, 10 and 15 and V3 is also 5, 10 and 15. So this is how you can also assign one variable to another variable. This video was about the basics of variable and to tell you the difference between variables and a tensor. Tensors are immutable while variables are mutable. You can update or change the value of variables. If you like my video, you can subscribe to my channel. Thank you for watching.